What's going on? I figured I'd do my take on. What's going on? I figured I'd do my take on a full frame camera versus a crop sensor camera. I know there's tons of articles, videos out there online, but I figured I'd just kind of give my experience and my take on it. Um, if, if you're doing your research, you know uh, several of the reasons why a full frame camera is um, considered better. You'll get a better ISO performance, better dynamic range, uh, usually me more megapixels, and just the image quality altogether is just going to be a little bit better. Um, but it's going to come with a price. Obviously it's going to cost a lot more and the camera is going to be bigger. So those are a couple of things to consider. And I always see on forums and stuff people say, well I'm going to sell my crop sensor camera to get a full frame camera. Well you shouldn't do that because you're going to miss you're going to miss some of those those features that are on the crop sensor camera. They're like, "What? What would I miss about that? I'm going to professional level, level camera. Like I said, it's a lot smaller. The crop sensor cameras are smaller uh, with Pentax. Even the lenses are a lot smaller. They're more compact. For these ones that are optimized for uh, crop sensor cameras. Um, so you'll just have a smaller, th uh, you know, smaller setup. When, uh, say you want to go to a theme park or just on a day hike, and you don't want to lag around this big, huge full frame camera. Um, this will weigh like half half the half the weight, so you, you'll want to keep this. Don't don't try to fund your K1 by getting rid of your crop sensor camera. You'll you'll miss some of the features that you have in here that you've been using. Also, these uh, depending on which model, the, the uh, crop sensor cameras will have uh, more frames per second. So you'll want to keep this for your, like your action shots and stuff like that. Also, the uh, if you're doing birds or something like that far away, you know, a 300 millimeter lens on here is, is what the crop factor is going to be 450 millimeters. Uh, so sometimes you're going to need that little extra length, and it's uh, nice to keep it. Um, also, there's not too many, but some do. Uh, this is a feature I like on these crop sensor cameras. A lot of them will have the, the flippy screen. There's not too many that have it. The K1 does have this little flip out thing which is nice but it's not fully articulating but thing so um, anyway just stuff to think about um, with all those things uh, you know the, the dynamic range and, and uh, the ISO performance the less noise the um, just all those bundled together uh, it makes for a better image it, it, it uh, once you go from the crop sensor to full frame you'll see it, it just you know that going into it but everything just it just pops just a little bit more it's uh, almost 3d like once you go to that next level uh, and for instance you you kind of get used to shooting with the crop sensor camera uh, my first uh, full frame camera back in the day I was shooting uh, Canon at the time Canon 60d and I went up and uh, bought the 5d mark three yeah three mark three and uh, at the time you know I was shooting that 60d and I would I would hear a lot of people complain about when you got in the higher ISOs on the 60d on uh, you know there was too much noise and I was like what man I'm shooting this thing at ISO 6400 it's fine it's totally usable and then you go and you get that full frame camera and you start shooting with that and then I would go back and look at those 60D pictures. I was like, man, that's atrocious. Why was I shooting at such high ISO? So uh, it's just something to think about it, uh, and just my take on it. Just, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. And um, thanks for watching.